All right, this is John Vela here. I wanted to take a minute to welcome you to the turnitin.com class that we're doing as Summer PD. Uh, and just to share with you a little bit about what you're going to learn um, to uh, encourage you to come and get the most out of it. All right, I've used Turnitin for years. I think it's an extremely effective tool. And I'm so grateful to uh, Terry Kalamata for showing me how it is now integrated with Canvas. Um, because you never even have to go to Turnitin website anymore. All you have to do is uh, use Canvas. So our real goal here, and I want to set this goal as a real student-centered goal. Yes, our, our plan is to catch instances of plagiarism, right? But we, what we really want to do is to establish an academic environment that rewards honesty and that means we need to punish dishonesty okay um, <clears throat> but this is really what we want to do and we do this you know I tend to take an approach folks and I'll use this in the class I take a really didactic approach to using turnitin.com which means I'm trying to teach the students about the standards because I want them to understand why certain things are considered dishonest. Um, I will show them Turnitin reports. I will explain to them cases that are borderline. Um, <clears throat> and I think ultimately what this does is it gives, stu it gives students who are honest an assurance that other students aren't taking shortcuts, right? That the teacher is on it because if students realize that they can take shortcuts, then you're a fool for playing by the rules. So you want to make sure you're establishing a clear environment, that there are certain ground rules, and that everybody understands them. So <clears throat> while there are times when you might need to drop the hammer and, and give a punishment, my first approach with our guys is always to be didactic. So I want to emphasize not only to, to really emphasize two things. One, how we just practically use Turnitin in Canvas. But second, how we can use that to teach our students why it's so important to have a, a reputation for integrity that is based on actions that exhibit integrity. Okay? So that's going to be the class. It'll be 75 minutes. By the time you're done, hopefully all your questions will be answered and you'll be all set up to use it in Canvas and you will have greater confidence in the work that your students are turning in. That sounds pretty good. All right, I'll see you there next week. Uh, this is John Vela signing out.